this is gonna be my last stop on my epic, epic road trip. I'm at Sisters Antique Mall in the Flatwoods, West Virginia. Hopefully, I'm going out with a bang. This looks awesome. Oh my gosh. Look at the tomato head. How fabulous is he? $30. That is a beautiful Fenton custard bread. Oh my gosh, look at the purses. Those are fabulous. This is a really interesting Viking glass. Um, it's got a couple chips, so it's 125. That's really neat. I've never seen that shape before. Whoa, crazy lamps. Some, oh, look at the seahorse face. That's gorgeous. And uh, down here, whoa, that Fenton cat, it's $65, but I'm like, look at that purple Burmese. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, look at the original tag on the uh, Burmese basket. That is a gorgeous tea set to say the least. That looks like it could be me and neodymium i think it is oh my gosh look it's got the beaver imperial glass 40 dollars. that's that's uh about what i would get for that after fees look at that thing that's amazing 350 and 50 high z and that's a gorgeous perfume bottle i feel like i already said that i'm like so fried from the whole experience a little celluloid Carnival Cupid doll. All right, let's keep it moving. Giant Lucite's pretty scratched up though. Well, not giant, just large. How about that? That's kind of a nice paperweight with the stars. $20. That's a fun tumbler, and uh, I love that color green, of course. It's a good eclectic mix here so far, which I actually really appreciate. Um, it means, you well, I should say, it usually means you never know what you're going to find mixed about. More incredible Victorian purses, the metal mesh. Lots of USA pottery. Clear glass. Oil lamp's not my thing. Uh, but this over here, this is interesting. I already see a Bakelite bangle. The f tag is flipped over, of course. Let's see what else we can find in here. Let's at least get an idea. Um, oh, nope. It says $20. I can leave that in there for that. Wow. Wait a minute. Look at this Russian Santa brooch. That's amazing. The hand-painted lacquered. $25. That's a little close for me. That's kind of a neat set with the strawberries. Kind of like a stained glass look to it. $65 for the set. This green bag back here, I see. Not what I thought at all. <laughs> these, uh, yeah, these are not what I thought from afar. My eyes are kind of playing tricks on me coming out of that bright sun. This was a fun one, this beaded one. I've seen better though. Oh, this is so cute, the little basket. Ooh, gnarly inside. So far, I haven't really seen anything uh, too too grand. Um, I've been spoiled by this trip. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get back. I'm going to be so bored. <laughs> well, this is a promising little nook here. Let's see. Uh, it's kind of a fun decanter up there, but again, it's an almost for me. Oh, here's one of these weird rubber face baby things. Those things are so spooky. <laughs> they used to sell pretty well for me, but um, they actually took a big flop like maybe a year or so ago, and I don't really pick them up anymore. Little bird, Japan parakeet, little paint loss, and 15. Mermaid mirror, but it's contemporary. Little Christmas nook again. I kind of feel like nobody does vintage Christmas like Pennsylvania plus most that's contemporary anyway. I am spoiled by that. Here, this one's 50% off. Yeah, again, a lot of contemporary stuff. Nothing really pops out. What are these faces? 
How strange. Scooby-Doo vases. I have never seen those before and they're really, really interesting. They do have glass underneath. They're in really good condition. I think I'm actually gonna give those a quick Google just because they're so weird. Oh my gosh, look at that bear. Very interesting. So the prices are really all over the place. Pretty into them. Kind of feel like for 15 bucks a pop or whatever it comes to. Kind of feel like why not? A little on the fence. They're so niche. But they're different, which is what I'm looking for. Oh my gosh, look at the curb plunk. Well, that was kind of not what I was hoping for, but it's okay. Uh, I definitely don't walk away from this trip empty-handed. Not sure where I'm going next. Hopefully it uh, is closer to home, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, I'm officially sick of driving. I am exhausted, uh, but I had to pull off the road to get gas, and I stumbled upon this small place. I'm not sure how my speed it is. It's called the Junk Trunk. Uh, it wasn't on my list. Uh, here, I'll turn myself around so you can see. Looks interesting. We'll check it out since uh, I need to stretch my legs anyway. No public restrooms. Dang it. All right, a little different than I expected, actually. It's uh, better than I thought it would be. I just saw, like, sports cards advertised, and I don't really care about sports cards. Is it cards $8? What? A couple paperweights. Not, not my style, though. What is this one? That's interesting. $20. It's got a polished base too. Another little glass nook here. Hmm. It's hard to be excited after all that, but uh, I like the little blue fountain. 18 though. Well, this looks promising. This is a pretty cranberry one. Let's see. $40, yeah, 65. Mm, 16 looks like I'm striking out again. That's a really pretty single shaker. More Fenton. What about the little milk glass handkerchief vase? That's nice. How much do they have on that? It's probably expensive. 18. Yeah, that's about what that goes for. Oh, pink opalescent candlestick holders. Really nice. That's pretty hand painting. And there's more. Fenton 15. Ooh, I like this little box. That's nice. I don't usually see that either. Color is sunburst yellow. Well, what is the price? <laughs> okay. That doesn't help us much. Oh my gosh. Pink Charleston hand painted apoth apothecary jar. That's gorgeous. And then down here. Another Imperial, I believe. 85, though. That's interesting. Faceted, too. $35. It's got a bunch of chips on it, though. A little peek of the good stuff. I love the black glass jar. This one's gorgeous. That's 45 That is amazing. I've never seen the plum opalescent and the compote like that. And then uh, the rose crest. Nice. One of my favorite color combos. Blanco 45. That's a nice decanter. $30. Oh wow, it goes back much further than I anticipated. More vendors upstairs. Oh no, I really have to pee. <laughs> I usually uh, group all my stops together. What? Indiana glass cat bowl in clear. I've never seen this. I'm actually gonna give that a Google. I, uh, I really like it, unfortunately, at $20. I don't think it leaves enough room. I checked, and they usually are listed for around $25, it looks like. That's gorgeous. Look at that milk glass vase. Dude, what? $20? Bucks? Is it broken? The answer is yes. It has a crack underneath. Dang, that sucks, because that's really pretty. I was really pumped about that for a second. Then over here... The Cupies, that's cute. Look at the uh, Acne Japan Planter, 25. This, $50, I was gonna say, that looks like Murano, I think it is. Um, but at $50, and it's a basket. Baskets do not do well. The Epern is 50, that's not bad. <gasps> Look at 
watching you guys. You funny little eggheads. Unfortunately, they're $30. I probably could make a couple bucks off those, honestly. I think they're harder to find. And a lot of those egg-shaped uh, anthropomorphic ones usually do all right. But again, more than I'd like to have invested. This is really pretty. This three-footed hobnail bowl with the original sticker. What? Okay. All right, let's check this out. That's really pretty. Pink milk glass, $13. Pink milk glass is hard to find. It's definitely like a little bit high for resale, I think, but I've never seen it before, and I never get to pick up pink milk glass. People always ask me for it, but uh, it's usually spendy, and it's like big and bulky usually in the styles I see. Uh, I am distracted by what's happening over here. Look at this fountain. That's gorgeous. 35. Oh, a little owl. That's fun. What are these weird elephants? Those are probably contemporary. And uh, back here, what about the amber? Five finger, I think. Yeah, five finger. Uh, this is a cool one. 25. That's not bad, actually. That's kind of cool. All right, wait. Look behind me. Oh, there's so much happening now. We went from like zero to 60 here. <laughs> um little crackle glass 20 bucks this is really sweet eighteen what's over here oh more crackle glass and more fenton what is this fenton $80. I've never seen it before. Does that say $80? It does. I'm unfamiliar with that. Uh, 20 bucks on the milk glass, and I'm assuming this is more. Yeah, 25 This is really interesting looking. It's a unique color. 50 bucks. Ah, the cuckoo clock uh, wall pocket, 25 That's not bad but I've had it a few times and that one's not pristine. What is this? Spaghetti pottery. Well, that's unusual. It's got a turtle and a cat and like a sneaky thing. <laughs> that's kind of cool. And then the Viking. I'm not one a fan for the ones with the words on it. On that. Oh, look at this little Ellie Smith ashtray. It's cool. It's the seahorse. $18. Not my favorite. And uh, going back over here. Ooh, these are nice candle holders. Oh my gosh, the daisy set is great. $25 for the pair Viking. Not bad. But, again, I've kind of gotten picky. I like that, even though it's contemporary. Purple. Nah. I really do like the pink milk glass, though. Ah, $13. It's so close. I guess I will check out the scene upstairs. Whoa. Well, first thing I see are the Starburst glass. The tumblers. Those are great. Five dollars each. Something seems off about them for some reason. Some lucite grapes here. Forty-five and forty-five. They have green X's. I'm not sure what that means. I don't see any sign saying that means something. Look at this. What is with the green X's? Does it mean something special? That's a good deal. Again, I've had them though. I'm going for this green. That's gorgeous. Look at that. $30. That looks like a uh, Viking. $30. I'll take that. Whoa, look at this. MCM candle set $95. So, Lucite. Oh my gosh, look at that sweet little bird in a cage. I see something in the distance. 
I going to be able to focus on my way there? <laughs> Am I going to be lying towards it? All right, let's just check it out. Ooh, Blanco. 45, that is sick. Wow. That's really great. And look at this one. 225 though. Hey, I just saw one of those. It was definitely not $185. 35, a little vase. What is this? Michelle Lucas French bottle vase. Interesting. And uh, some fused glass. More Blanco. 35. And 23. That's not bad. What in the world is this? Art glass slag. $35. It's got a weird handle on it. Is that broken right there? And the, I think it's just like in the uh, manufacturing. That's really strange. $35. The weird little handle is throwing me off. I have no idea. What about this amber one? It's got kind of a cool shape to it, even though I don't normally go to amber. $85. Yeah, I like how it's kind of crook it up at the top this is really different and then this looks like mcm and pulley interesting giant blanco more big blanco this is kind of nice whoa it's like paper thin antique mary check 35 meh and we don't like baskets really, but that's nice. But again, at 65, there's no way. Whoa. Rainbow Blanco. 225. That's wild. That's really wild. Oh my gosh, this booth continues in. Oh. All right, well, let's finish with this. What? Look at this giant Blanco sign. 125. That's really amazing. The crackle glass is really nice. That's it. What does that say? 45? That's a that's a deal, I feel like. This is still throwing me for a loop. How did I miss this? Cut to clear. 65 vintage check art glass. Honestly, if it wasn't $65, I would grab that in a heartbeat. Not for sale. All right, well, let's keep it going. This is uh, way more intriguing than I had anticipated being. Good grief, look at like these giant Roseville, or hey, Roseville. Let's see if I can't even read, it's so dark in here. They're probably like $1,000. I think it does say $1,000 actually. And some blue, 18. Nice little Amberina compote. Ellie Smith, 20 bucks, I think that says. I can't really read. It's too dark to see their uh, writing. Look at the Imperial. 65 each. Oof. Very cool. Look at these guys. Or gals, I should say. $40. Scandinavian head faces. Yeah, 40 bucks each. This is an awesome canister set. Unfortunately, I'm starting to lose patience because I have to pee so bad. Sorry for the overture. And now there's a hammer. I can't do all three. <laughs> Let's um, over here. Good grief, that's gorgeous. What is this, Fostoria? Yeah, Fostoria 35 and 30. Those are really pretty. Love that like greenish mint color. Dude, is this a chalkware freaking... It is. Chalkware unicorn? That's so cool. I came back to this nook one last time before I go back downstairs. That is gorgeous, but definitely spendy. This is just so cool. It's really neat. I can't justify that, though. I bought 60 pieces of Blanco today. And uh, if we count the one I got for myself... And then when I got for Jeff, then 62. <laughs> so it would have to be a steal to get me to bite the bullet at this point. Or something really special. This is really special, honestly. Oh, I've never seen one like this. 
It's really cool. Some really pretty Gone with the Wind and parlor lamps. Although I will say they don't touch that uh, red satin one I got the other day. Was that just yesterday? Waterford, those red candle holders are amazing. Whoa. I'm gonna hold my breath. I see this jadeite hand, NFS, there you go. I thought it was gonna be either NFS or a zillion dollars. Fenton Frog, that's only 35. Oh, it says Lennox, interesting. Whoa. That Burmese, it's all pretty close though. Although that Burmese is really pretty. That's kind of a cool planter. I've never seen that before. Three, that's why it's cracked, dang. Well, they had some really nice stuff in there. Uh, I looked through the, the aisles in the back. Uh, the music was super loud. I have to pee. Uh, there was a loud chatter. I'm just kind of done. So I'm finally going to gas up and go home. I will see you guys tomorrow around 10 a.m.